It's 8 a.m. in the morning and we're here at one of the most naturistic places in Singapore. Sungai, Bulo, Fatland, Reserve. Why are you making me come here so early? Because it's low tide right now and this is when an ancient creature that lived millions of years ago awakens and starts its day. So this legendary creature has 10 eyes, 12 legs, blue blood and a long pointed tail. You sure this thing exists? Yes! I thought you got money, man. We're going to explore SBWR's Crunchy Coastal Nature Park in search for this legendary creature! Are you a crow? Are you a crow? I have a friend who has been researching on this legendary creature for quite some time, so I'm bringing him on board so that he can help us search for it as well. Hello, Lester! Hello! Thank you for coming down so early today. This is Lester and he's in charge of the HSC Rescue and Research Program in Nature Society Singapore. So we have Singapore's very own HSC Bobo with us. I'm super duper excited. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We'll be heading to two places to find the creatures. Okay. First at Eagle Point, then further down to Mud Experience. Okay! The creature we are looking for is a mud dweller that is adapted to live in very muddy conditions. So our mud flats may look pretty empty at first sight, but it's one of the most important habitats that provide food and shelter to many, 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 many different animals, including our HSC. What is HSC? So you look over there, mm. that's our causeway. So from the causeway point all the way to here, that's our Mandai mangrove mud flat. So these creatures used to be found a lot of them over there. Mm. Now they seem to shift over here due to the muscles. I heard a quack-like sound that belongs to the white belly sea eagle. <coughs> this place is called Eagle's Point because you can see a lot of eagles here. Yeah, so the eagles can be seen here at a certain time of the day. Ooh. Out of the four HSC in the world, two of them can be found in Singapore. Ooh, that's half. Yeah, and especially in Sunai below, you can actually find the mangrove HSC. HSCs are actually bottom dwellers mm -hmm. and they're like small little Roombas just souping up everything edible on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So because they're bottom dwellers, I remember the 10 eyes that I was talking about, they actually, most of them are actually scattered uh, all around the HSC's head. Oh, well, not exactly head. You know, people usually refer them to as the shell. These eyes serve specific roles and the most obvious ones are this pair of bean-shaped compound eyes that are primarily used for the HSC to find their mates. Also, they have five additional eyes on this shell. Each one or each pair actually serve a specific function, such as detecting UV light to track the lunar cycle. In fact, right, its tail is like a giant big eye because it contains cells that respond to light and all of this actually help the HSC navigate its way in the surroundings. Are you sure you guys are just tricking me at this? No, no, no. Come, let me show you. They exist. Really, yeah. So since we talk about their tail later on, mm -hmm. do you think they sting or are venomous? Uh, I know a lot of people think they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of people think they use the tail to hunt prey, mm -hmm. but actually they just use the tail to upright themselves. Ooh, so the tail is not venomous at all, right? No, it's not. The pointed tail is connected to its body in a ball and socket joint, similar to your knee, and it also helps the animal steer itself underwater. So if they lose their tail, right, it's hard for them to survive again. Ah, okay, okay. No! Oh, this is like beautiful spirally structure! It's time for some OTD shots. Let's go, let's go. We're reaching the Mud Experience platform, so let's explore Mud Flats! Yes, let's go! If you take a look at the Mud Flats, there's little pools of water that's made by the male Mud Skipper. So they actually dig a very deep burrow as a nursery for his young, and on top of the burrow is this pool of water where he hopes a female will come and lay her eggs and build a family together. Ah! Okay, I'm not saying very fun, la, but for kids, I guess it'll be very fun. Aye. Ah! The HSC uses its 12 beautiful legs to scurry along the mud flats. But calling them legs does not exactly do them justice because if you look at the legs carefully, the first five pairs are actually more like claws with gap gaps, while the last pair is actually paddle shaped to help them steer in the water. They tell me all these crazy facts about it, but I still have no idea what we are really talking about here. You really want to know, is it? Yeah. Okay, let's go! There's just one over here. We have been talking about the horseshoe crab! So horseshoe crabs are ancient animals. They look similar for the past 480 million years. By the way, do you know that horseshoe crabs are not crabs? What do you mean? Are they not horseshoe crabs? Yeah, horseshoe crabs are actually not crustaceans. They are closely related to spiders and scorpions. 
It's just like how the starfish is not a fish, a seahorse is not a horse, and the sea cucumber is not a cucumber. What's horseshoe crab in dialect? What's horseshoe crab? Ah? Ma. Okay, horseshoe is ma xie xie, is it? Ma tao. Ma tao? Just one word. Ma tao xie. We so hide one shama. It's a special bird. I just borrowed a specimen from Empats earlier. Ooh, okay. Just like how I mentioned earlier, the cosh crab has 12 legs and other than using it to creep along the muddy bottom, they should use it to grind up their food before it flows to the mouth because the horseshoe crabs have no jaws. So they can only eat while it's walking. These are where the eyes are positioned. And of course, not forgetting the cute little non-toxic tail. I like some of the excess. So this is how the legendary horseshoe crab looks like. Thank you, Lester, for joining us to search and explore for this very ancient but very amazing horseshoe crab. Now, they are really gentle creatures that like to chill and relax in the mud. So if you ever see one of them in a the wild, please do leave them alone. So NSS has horseshoe crab program. So do check us out once the COVID-19 situation gets better. That's all for today's money adventure. Just keep, keep thinking. thinking.